have a good day. Hello, science is awesome. And what you're about to see is considered a scientific phenomenon with some determination. Some repetition and a little bit of luck, you too, can accomplish what you are about to witness. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Good day, LA Beast here, and today is Friday, October 22nd, 2021. And am I wearing a sweet Mighty Ducks jersey from the movie Mighty Ducks? Yes. And this jar may look familiar, as I once filled it with sodium acetate trihydrate, uh, also known as hot ice, and then stuck my hand in this jar to where I 100% absolutely freaked out, and afterwards, I stuck my hand in the toilet bowl. But here today, what I'm about to do, inspired by science, is show you a scientific phenomena. Uh, I need a jar with a lid and some cold water. Now, if you use warm water, it will not work. This experiment will not work. So, I have a second camera rolling. Um, pretty much just using the kitchen sink water on the coldest setting. I'm going to fill the jug a little bit less than halfway. Oh, that should be, should be perfect. Uh, and then this is like the make or break part uh, when you actually have to flip it. Uh, and then once you flip it, uh, this is the second secret. You start doing the tornado effect. Uh, like, I'm, like elementary school, you probably taped together two soda bottles, created a tornado. But what this is actually doing is causing a vacuum-like seal. Oh, and if, you can, and if you can actually do this right, hopefully for love of God, I did it right here on the 37th try. You can do this. Please work. You can do this. And if you can pull this off properly, what you can do looks like magic. Good Jesus, okay. The secret here is, not only does it have to be as cold water, but you swirl it around to get the tornado effect. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Okay, fill right. the jar roughly a little bit less than halfway with cold water. Boom. I think that should be okay. Uh, and then like when you put the lid on the jar, it all about the flip, okay? And then, and then, uh, okay. It's okay if it leaks a little bit, but boom. What I'm doing now is the tornado effect. Uh, and in science class, probably in elementary school, we probably did the thing with the bottle with the tornado. And what this is doing is actually causing a vacuum-like seal, which will allow me to do this. Ho hopefully, if I can pull it off. Please, please work, please work. Fuck yes. Oh, did you see that? That, that was insane. Uh, is that, it's amazing. I, like, I've been looking to do like an amazing mind-bending science experiment, and hopefully today I can pull it off. So, boom. What I've done is fill a jar roughly a little bit less than halfway with water. All I gotta do is flip it over. Okay. It's okay if some of the water gets all over the place. And then the second secret, okay, Jesus, is Second secret is to do the tornado effect. Really swish the water around. And what that's gonna do, as you're gonna see right here, right now, is do this. God bless you. You can do this. That, that's actually pretty fucking awesome. Hello? And what you do, you keep the water directly into the jug. How cool is that? You gotta be careful. And then if you go like this, you see this? 
Are you seeing this right now? Whoa! You fucking kidding me? That was, that was insane. That was amazing. What did I just do? Good day, LA Beast here. Uh, it's actually the next day. And what I'm going to do right here, right now, is explain exactly how I did that scientific phenomena. Uh, which is not really a phenomena at all. It's just a cool trick, I guess you can say. And the other night as I was heading to bed, I was actually watching uh, random YouTube videos. And there was actually a video of a science teacher from about two years ago. She took a jar, filled it with water in front of the class. Uh, and then you actually take a piece of cardboard. Uh, and then when you like put that cardboard over the mouth of the, the jar, turn it upside down, that actually does cause like a, a suction, a vacuum-like effect to where that piece of cardboard will stay stuck to the lid. Now, but then she like pulled the cardboard away and the water didn't fall out. Uh, and at that point I was like, whoa, my mind is officially blown. <laughs> um, so immediately I went to YouTube, I typed in upside down water trick and like this science fair ladies video, the comments were turned off. Uh, but very quickly I found out that actually what she did, now uh, if you have like a window or a window screen, she took that mesh screen, uh, cut a circle to fit the mouth of the jar and glued it. Uh, so like you literally can't see the mesh screen when she was holding the jar like this. Uh, because there were little holes that allowed her to pour the water in. Uh, but then like, boom, when she turned it over, took the cardboard away, somehow, some way, uh, that mesh screening actually still continued to hold that vacuum-like seal. Now, and then if you just slightly turn the jar, the water would actually come out of the holes, which is mind-blowing. So still a cool trick. And right below that video, there's actually, uh, there was a show in the early 2000s, like Magic Tricks Revealed. Uh, and like in that trick, the guy actually, he took a piece of cardboard, boom, uh, put it in a jar that was filled with water, turned it upside down. Uh, but this time, he like pulled the thing away, and there was like obviously no mesh screening. I was like, how, how the heck is he doing this? Uh, and what he did, and then what I did uh, for my attempt here, I actually like, I collect old video games, uh, such as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, but I actually put them in a protective case, a clear protective case. Uh, and what I did uh, is actually cut out a little circle which actually fits the mouth of the jar as you can see and that actually still allows you uh, to have like a vacuum like seal uh, as you can see right there so it made my circle excuse me to where it fit right in the lid um, and like I filmed at night so like the lighting was a little bit bad so maybe you wouldn't be able to see uh, that clear little disc in there uh, and even though just one little tiny drop of water I pressed it on and like I was allowed to kind of like I could like turn the lid upside down without the disc falling out. Uh, and then it all came down to repetition. Uh, I pretty much recited, good day, LA Beast here. Today is Friday, October 22nd, 2021. And am I wearing a sweet Mighty Ducks jersey from the movie Mighty Ducks? You're damn right I am. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that about 57 times. Uh, and only three times was I able to actually successfully, you have to like jam the cap on so hopefully the lid falls out as you can see right there and then when you turn it over the swirling it around effect uh, it actually helps get water uh, onto that little disc to cause it to stick uh, but it does it, like it happens uh, once every 15 tries um, but nonetheless it's actually a pretty cool trick and then I'll wrap this up here uh, the one thing I did to try and elevate the trick uh, was actually uh, once I finally got it I had a second camera and I tried to like show underneath uh, to see what that looks like because in that lady science video she uh, couldn't show what's underneath the bottle because she was hiding mesh. No, uh, and then I don't think the other guy in the other magic video did it either. So I just tried to like take a cool illusion and present it the way that I wanted to present it. So uh, good luck. Uh, maybe you can try this on your own, fool your friends and family. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it was an interesting experience trying to get this to work. Am I sweating? Yes. It's the LA Beast. Have a good day. Scientific phenomena. I don't even know what that is. Oh man.